Since the discovery of penicillin in 1928, antibiotics have become mankind's main weapon against a host of infections. But in China, scientists have now found bacteria in pigs resistant to even the strongest of antibiotics, a drug known as colistin. 15% of raw meat samples tested and 16 human patients were also infected. Dr Peter Barlow of Edinburgh Napier University, who has worked at the US Centre for Disease Control and Prevention spoke to VOA via Skype. It's actually the use of this antibiotic in livestock um, that's promoted this and, and because antibiotics are used so widely in, in livestock and in and, and humans, um, it's, it's got us to a stage where um, we're facing a problem with antibiotic resistance in a lot of different types of, of bacteria. Scientists call it the antibiotic apocalypse, when bacteria become completely resistant to treatment. The genetic mutation that caused this problem is called MCR1. The mutation grants bacteria resistance against antibiotics, but also spreads easily across all kinds of dangerous bacteria. The greater concern is that this uh, resistance, this resistance to the antibiotic can actually be transmitted or passed between different va bacterial species, um, which means that even more bacteria could become resistant to, to, the, to the same antibiotic. The World Health Organization this week joined the chorus of warnings. The world is heading towards a post-antibiotic era in which common infections will once again kill. If Current trends continue, sophisticated interventions like organ transplantation, joint replacements, cancer chemotherapy, and care of preterm infants will become more difficult or even too dangerous to undertake. Dr Barlow says urgent action is needed to avert such a catastrophe. We need a really effective global strategy for dealing with antibiotic use, um, both in humans and in livestock. And I think we need um, increased and sustained investment in antibiotic drug discovery. The Chinese government is considering banning the use of colistin in livestock. Scientists say there is also evidence of resistant strains of bacteria in Laos and Malaysia. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.